What is good, Greg Gang? Today, we're doing a catch and cook with Mamie, but the gun of choice is what we're really gonna be talking about. We are gonna be squirrel hunting with one of the cheapest shotguns in the world. And this is kind of a special shotgun. Let me go ahead and show you. So the shotgun we're gonna be using right here is a single shot 12 gauge. I got this thing for $100. Listen, guys, let me just tell you how it was. I was walking around the stock sale. If you don't know, a stock sale is where they like sell cows and goats and stuff. Some old guy had a shotgun on his shoulder. I was like, hey, you wanna sell that? He's like, yeah, 100 bucks. I said, Okay, so here it is a hundred dollar shotgun if you want to get down into the specifics of it It is a Columbia and it was made in 1964 but enough chitter chatter Let's make sure this thing shoots because honestly it might not a lot of shotguns like this be careful guys They're not exactly ready to be shot. I had one of them as soon as you pull back the hammer it, it shot Okay, the trigger was not even real basically this one does have a little bit of wobble, but I don't think it's anything serious I'll put one shot on target the ejector doesn't really work. That's okay though. I'll put one more and see what we can do. Make sure it works. Ow. Okay. Nah, guys, this is a perfect shotgun. I love this thing. Too bad we're gonna blow it up in the next video. Anyways, now before we go out there hunting, let me just tell you a little bit about this. Actually, yeah, I'm not gonna tell you anymore. Let's just go kill a stinking squirrel with this thing. As you can imagine, we're taking the old Can Am Defender. Let's get the fanny pack. Let's go. Okay guys, we have reached our location. As you can hear, the leaves are a little dry, so sneaking around the forest may be a little bit hard. The good thing is that if it's hard for me to walk and be quiet, it's also hard for the squirrels to walk and be quiet, so we should keep our ears open and maybe we'll be able to hear some squirrels running around. Anyways guys, the game plan, it's super simple. There's a little four-wheeler trail goes right through there. I'm gonna walk the four-wheeler trail as quietly as possible. Try to stay in the tracks of the four-wheeler because that's where the least of the leaves are, so I can walk there and be a little quiet. A couple things that are gonna be key to this hunting trail my KG camo hunting hat since squirrels climb trees they're gonna be looking down and with me wearing the hat they won't be able to see my face but for real guys I'm gonna have to be quiet I think the squirrels are starting to hear me also guys we're using six shot because that's the best for squirrels in my opinion now let's just go ahead and be real quiet and we'll try to find us a squirrel right over here somewhere Okay guys, so I'm down here right now on this road. I can, I kind of know where some squirrels are, but they're out of range and I can't really go to them because there's too many leaves. It's literally fall. Like the leaves literally fell like last week. And so they're all so perfect and just ready to make too much noise. So we can't stalk it and we can't really shoot it from here. I don't know guys, the squirrels just wasn't moving yesterday. Back in here today, I'm determined to kill a bunch of squirrels and I'm not going inside until I do. Let's go. That did it, didn't it, Deal? That ain't even the squirrel I saw. So there's actually another one. And I think he's right there. And he may have actually went in the hole, so. Squirrel hunting, you can see nothing for a while. Then all of a sudden, if you get on one squirrel, there's a good chance there's a bunch more. Okay, guys, first squirrel down. I'm gonna be careful while I'm walking in because like I was saying, there's always a good chance there's more. How old is this thing, like? 50, 60 years old? Yeah, it's 56 years old and still works like a charm. Let's see, tracking this guy shouldn't be hard. He, uh, he didn't move at all after he hit the ground, so. Yeah, should be right here though. But with this squirrel, I tried to aim for the head because I know I'm gonna be eating these and if you shoot a squirrel with a shotgun and you get a full body shot, a lot of times you're gonna be finding those shot whenever you eat them. So if you are using a shotgun, try to aim for the head if you can. As for this guy, I, uh, I, yeah, I didn't do too great. I hit him right there in the chest. Now that is okay because most of me, honestly, is on their back legs anyhow. That's one down. I'm looking for at least three, so that's two more to go. I already have one located down there because I saw him hopping around. And then as for the third one, I don't think it'll be too hard. All right, there's two. Grab the KG fanny pack, got these bullet holders on them. Pull that right out, and we're ready to go again. He was on the ground 
and wasn't moving. So I got a perfect headshot on him. Also, headshots kind of also depend on what choke your barrel is. If you don't know, a choke is the thing right here that kind of restricts how big your barrel is and it determines how wide the spread of your BBs are that come out of your shotgun. Now for this one, it's so old, the, the markings are gone. So I actually have no idea how, how what the choke is on this. But, but there is a squirrel right there, dead. There's another squirrel over there. It's not dead yet. The shot probably scared it, but I'm going to go retrieve him and I may get him too. So far, we're doing really good though. We got two squirrels and they're both been pretty easy to get. Okay, guys, I just slid down the hill and there's about six of them that just appeared. Oh, snap, there's one. He's too far though. Okay, okay, I'm going to get a few right here. There's one over there. He's a little bit too far. Yeah, he's a little bit too far. Then there's one on this tree over here somewhere, but he's on the other side. My right, boys, we're moving in. By the way, that's that squirrel. Well, those squirrels, they got away from me. We do got that squirrel right there. So, we have two confirmed squirrels. I'm gonna go ahead and call Mammy and let her know. Hey, Siri, call Mammy. Calling Mammy. Home. Be quiet. I'm squirreling, Siri. Hello? Mammy. Yeah? I killed us two squirrels. You did? Yeah, we're gonna cook them. Sound good? Let's cook them today? Yeah, okay, bye. Okay, now on to number three. All right, we got him. That literally <laughs> knocked me off the log. I wasn't ready for that. That was a smart squirrel, okay? He saw me as soon as I raised my gun up the first time. Then as you guys saw, I kept throwing rocks to the other side of the tree. A lot of times that'll make them turn back around because they think whatever I am is over there. But this one was smart, okay? He stayed over there and I had to wait, but that's okay because we got him. Now let's go get him. We got three squirrels. There's still a chance I can get a fourth one because there's still one right over there somewhere and there's still another one over here and there's still another one over there. This guy had to fall in a briar thicket, didn't you, buddy? Yeah, he's a big one though. And I know I got him in the head too because that's the only part I could see. All right, let's head on up, get these guys skinned up and then we'll take them down to Mammy. We'll show you how to cook them. Now it is on to actually skinning these squirrels. Now YouTube doesn't like me to show too much skinning, so if I don't show a lot of it, don't get mad at me. Knife of choice, we're using the KG pocket knife. I don't know if these things are back in stock yet, but if they are, you better go pick them up. You can also get a Mammy t-shirt. Get a great one of the shop. First link in the description, that's where you can pick them up. First thing I'm gonna do to skin it, make a slit in the back. I put my fingers in the skin, and then I just pull it like that. And then it literally skins the entire thing for you to just, you know, do whatever you want to from here on. My hair ain't combed or nothing. Let me comb my hair. So you don't want to cook today? No. Okay, guys, welcome back to KG's Kitchen. Today, we are going to be cooking squirrel. I'm going to make a wild guess and say that y'all already knew that. Step number one, I'm going to get a little pot, be warming up the water, getting it close to boiling. <coughs> The next step, while that's boiling, I'm gonna wash off this, wash off the squirrel, cause it's it's literally still got fur on it. Right now it is 2:49. Now that my squirrel is thoroughly washed, I'm going to transport it from my hands into the pot right there. It's technically not boiling yet, but it is getting kind of close. So the plan: boil it a little bit till the meat gets soft, then we throw it in the pan to make it good crispy. It's currently 4.14. It's been over an hour. They're still boiling and they're still not soft. As for the pan itself, just a basic pan. Put some oil in here. You can put butter if you're feeling unhealthy. I got a bad feeling about this. On a scale of how appetizing this looks, I give it about a 1.5. I'm not happy with my performance. I don't know how they turned out this bad. I've not tasted them yet, but I can I can about tell you how they're going to taste, and it's not good. Okay, guys, let's get this show on the road. If you listen carefully, you can hear I already have chicken frying in the background because I do not think this is going to be good. Let's go ahead, dive on into it. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's still trying to run away. It's still kicking. 
Thankfully, I was wrong about my prediction. This is actually really good. If I would have boiled it for one more hour, which is kind of a lot, this stuff would have been golden, but this is totally edible, and honestly, I'm surprised I didn't mess it up. I'm happy. I'm happy. I truly am. If you want to watch another one of my squirrel catch cook, click this one right here. That one was actually pretty good. We ended up putting it in a crock pot or right over here for all of my catch and cook playlist. Check them out. <laughs>